Hello everyone, it's me, Sol. It's been a very hot minute, I know, since, uh, well, I posted last about this, the TV. But, um, I managed to do something here, quite a bit actually. Yeah, my setup is moved. Moved to basically right here, as you can see. It took a lot to rearrange, I will be honest. So, this is the reason why you're seeing this TV set up along here, alongside all my consoles. And as to why all my consoles are set up, well, uh, yeah, just... <laughs> the last month has been pretty hectic, okay? Let's just say that for right now. But, I am here to tell you my little opinion about this TV. For anybody curious, this is this is Sony's X900H 4K television. Had to look at something on my monitor for a second just to confirm that. <laughs> I bought this TV at well, oh, a pretty hefty height, a pretty hefty price tag of over one grand. That is a lot more than my $350 Samsung TV that I bought previously. Yeah. Now you might be thinking, well, that's a lot more than you're willing to spend, isn't it? Yes, it is. But from what I've been experiencing with this TV so far, there has been no issues. Thank goodness. I've not been having any issues with this TV at all. Well, it's been very responsive, especially when playing games, and plus the motion rate on this TV, which is basically how smooth the motion looks, it's a lot better than the Samsung TV. So I got a lot more with my money than I thought I would get. Especially various things, which... Let me double check. Okay, it doesn't display anything that's weird. Oh, not weird, like any personal info on the TV. Uh, I'm a little jealous of seeing this because, well, FFBE was not that kind to me recently. <laughs> but other than that, this TV is an Android TV, I should mention. So you get access to various apps, and you can also connect your Google account to the TV. Which, yeah, I did that. <laughs> and it's been pretty great, all things considered. Heard? The TV won't automatically turn on one of my consoles, thank goodness. So, I'm all good right there. Here. Um, I guess if there was any issues I've ha I would have with the TV, I guess it's this remote. It's a lot longer than any other remote I've been using, but that's just a personal nitpick. So, it's not that much of a problem with this remote at all. In all honesty, <laughs> really like... I think the way it's built, well, it's, just it grips better. Um, but it's let me think. Is there anything in else about this TV I should really be saying? Thing. Well, I would recommend this TV as it's good for its its great value for a 4K television, and certainly won't give you issues as long as you. Well, I bet the Samsung TV wouldn't give you many issues as long as you didn't have anything connected to it that would hinder your experience, like a game console. But then again, I don't know how that Samsung TV would work with other devices like DVD players and such, so I could be wrong. Uh, overall, though, I personally think this TV is a much-needed improvement over... Or the Samsung TV I got. Uh, this TV is, well, it's pretty impressive. I love it. Although, I am a little worried about these legs here. These things are very slim. Them. I don't like how slim they are, but at least the material that they used is a lot better than, and well, than the one on the Samsung TV, which was looking all plastic. Plus, this TV... And yes, I have an afternoon with Evie and Friends figurines. Just, if I can angle it just right. This TV has over, if I recall, four HDMI inputs. Now, I think it is one 
HDMI 2.1 and put it on here. here. And of course the optical drive. About every plug is just on the side of the TV. Plus, it came with, in with clips. Look at that. Cord clips, so that way I can just hook things up. Well, a lot more nicely. And the power outlet, or, you know, the plug for the TV, it's a lot more, it goes in a lot more than the Samsung. So that's another improvement. And plus when getting the cord into the TV, I didn't feel like it was giving or anything, where it was just wiggling back and forth. So that's also another improvement I would have to say there. Yeah. Over, and as for the sound, the sound is, the sound quality of the TV is fine. Fine. Not the best in the world, but and I wouldn't say it's all too much better than my soundbar. Which, the soundbar is okay, but yeah, I've noticed some uh, uh, odd sound effects, especially when playing a certain game I bought. That's, I'm just pretty impressed with the TV. In all honesty, I don't have any gripes with this TV you know but the biggest thing i would say that might put some of you away from this is the price point this is the cheapest tv i could find and this is a 55 inch tv because i didn't want to get anything too huge but this thing like i mentioned it costed me one grand one thousand us dollars Here's, that is certainly a huge price tag but, it was a worthy upgrade, but now I got a job of keeping this TV from, well, well, well going bad in any way. Okay. I'm just pretty impressed with this thing overall. Now as for other specs, I gotta sit down a little gently because of my chair that's starting to really give. This is the 2020 model that I bought. As for anything else to mention, this TV is very wide. Yeah, might not fit it on every stand you might have, so that's a issue right there. Well, unless you got a swivel base just to put onto the TV, and if it can hold this nearly 30 pound TV. E. So yeah, that's something to consider there with this, this nearly nearly 30 pound TV or not 30 pounds pounds but more than that oh my I didn't expect this TV to be a lot heavier than it needed to be huh so this thing's pretty heavy a lot more heavier than I thought okay good to know oh and I have the box in the closet but one thing to note about the TV, if you do end up getting it, it, it is very, the box is very big. You'll likely need a truck to hold this TV in. And because I tried getting it into my car and it wouldn't fit. So yeah, I had to find a workaround of getting it to my house. Just to say the least. And also this TV has an ethernet port, so that's pretty neat. Need to know. It's a version 2.0 with the Bluetooth, but at least the Bluetooth is not as glitchy as the Samsung TV I previously owned. Um, Chromecast built in. I wonder how that would work. Also has Apple AirPlay, Apple HomeKit, it's saying. Uh, what else that needs to be, be said? Oh, it's not a component TV, so... You know, in case if you wanted to know that, but I don't think that really matters. It has four HDMI inputs. It's, it's um, I don't think it says anything about a 2.0 port, so that kind. Of, oh wait a minute, and it, it actually does <laughs> right here. HDMI 2.1 on has 4K 120. Honey, meaning 4K resolution at, I believe, 120 refresh rate. EARC, v variable refresh rate, and ALLM. I believe these are all included with a firmware update, so you would need to update the TV in order to see that. So hey, shows that the TV here is very much capable of running 
games at 4K and at 120. And the, um, did I say refresh rate? I think it's meant to be Hertz, or maybe? I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a little, uh, out of touch since, again, long month. Month overall. Um, it's, it is a 4K display TV, 380, or 3840 by 2160 60 pixels. I think that's meant to be. <laughs> um, it is a fully backlit TV, so that's something to know out here. Air because that way you get the best picture quality all around. Out with this TV, it has local dimming, which I find to be pretty useful at nighttime. In a high dynamic range with HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision. And the picture processor that's used for this TV is called an X1 4K HDR processor. Right, the Samsung TV I previously owned used a, a 4K crystal processor, I think it was called. Cool. And then it has a 4K X Reality Pro. Oh, various types of color enhancements. And then that's the motion enhancer with its native herds. So, hey, that's a good thing. And I was looking down with the camera. My bad. <laughs> um, and these are the various HDMI signals that you can get with this TV. So that's something worth noting. And it has a, a large amount of picture modes. Game mode is your best one for having having lower input time. Um, but standard I saw has the smoothest motion out of everything. Especially if you're playing a game like, let's say, Pokemon Sword or Shield. Oi. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are the speaker types. It's, ah, for sound, there's Dolby, Dolby Audio and Atmos. Ugh. Um, there's not that very really much to say about the TV. The difference is that this one's an Android TV, so that is something worth noting right there. What else is with this TV? It also has Google Play Store built in, so that's pretty neat if you want to search for apps and put onto the TV. E like, uh, no, YouTube, but that's pre-installed. Let's see. Anything else that needs to be said? Bezel design. Accessibility. Accessories. Huh. Optional accessories, wall mount bracket. Oh yeah, that's something that came with this TV. It's so, um, it allows you to have extra support for the TV so it doesn't, like, come um, forward if it accidentally does. That's from the leggings, I think. But that's if you can attach them to a wall, and I, th it would be better to wall mount this TV. For me, I'm going to see about wall mounting this TV when I get moved over to the other house house. But that's another story I will be saving for, well, another time. I'm. In the meantime, though, I hope this video is informative and important to anybody that's still searching for a TV out there. For me, this is the best one I can get for gaming as of now, and I will be using it for gaming, but on occasion I might use it for YouTube, Netflix, stuff like that just to watch off of this TV. Yeah. Another thing to note here, here, I would suggest trying to look for a Sony TV for cheap. That's something I would recommend you searching out for, because I had a Sony TV before, and it didn't give me any problems, and neither does this one. So if you can find a good 4K Sony TV out there, I would recommend going for it over Samsung... Um, especially Samsung, mostly. But for the other TV brands, I don't know very much. I hear Vizio's another good brand, and as well to look into an LG, if I recall. Well, but if you're looking for a balanced overall TV that will give you good visuals, well, especially for gaming, then I would really recommend and this Sony TV here. Again, it is the X900H, or 
or in other words, it's the X90H H that was displayed on the box. X, I don't know why it's why the model number is displayed differently, but it's something I would suggest looking into for this TV. It's what I have, and honestly, I'm not gonna get rid of this thing. Dang, if it's this good. So, for now, I'm just gonna leave off with that. So, hopefully, this video was helpful, and, well, you all have a good rest of your er, day or an evening. Ciao for now.